All right, welcome back to another episode of Software Inc. Before I start this video, I would love to thank you all for 200 subscribers. I will be showing you the channel overview on the screen right now, but this has been a massive amount of growth in a relatively short amount of time. Compared to what I used to be, this is a huge, huge step. So um, yeah, thank you to everybody who has subscribed and thank you to everybody who actually watches my videos. It means a lot and it, uh, you know, motivates me to keep making videos, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad that you guys are enjoying what you guys are seeing. Uh, so yeah, into the video, we have... This antivirus software, which is being released on, what is this called, project management. Uh, this is almost released. It only has six months until release. So yeah, it is not doing too bad. Um, yeah, it's in the alpha phase. It's going to release in January. It already has 2,000 followers, which I feel like is less than it should have because... Um, you know, we have a lot of fans for antivirus. We have 72 million fans in total, actually, which is uh, it, a lot. <laughs> but other than that, we are designing an office software for some reason. Uh, I must have done this on an impulse. I think that I decided to release this for, like, super cheap. Uh, it probably won't even pay for its licenses. I think it was, like, $20 I chose to make it. But, uh, yeah, that is being designed. Uh, while... Our antivirus is being developed and what else is happening we should have an OS team doing something our operating system and our antivirus software releases on the same month which is very good okay so I think I'm gonna release this press release right now and yeah that that doubled our followers for the operating system which isn't bad we should have more market recognition but it went down in one of the last episodes for some reason uh, it is cutting edge of course so it is not too bad of a product. We're making a million every month. Most of that is from interest, which is actually really good. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that we're going to be in the red uh, as a company for a very long time, if ever. We're pretty much uh, too big to fail at this point. So I think that we are late enough in the series to sort of review the hardware in this game. Um, I prefer doing digital like not digital but software um it's cheaper to print you make more money off of it in the long run um just hardware is more complicated and in a way it could be more fun i i, I guess uh but yeah i would prefer doing software because then we have to handle digital distribution but if your software is too big then it will get expensive servers are very expensive to run so i guess that hardware is like a workaround from that but I think it makes up for it with the cost of printing. Uh, I think you could see it here. Uh, cost per copy is $130 for us. Uh, so yeah, this is for the console operating system. This is the console operating system cost for us. Um, we charge like $200, I think. But uh, yeah, a lot of it also goes to the physical distribution, which you can see here. Um, Last month I made a million, but I had to pay the distribution, the store cut, 200000 And that plus the cost of printing is a lot. But it, it is okay. I think that it's a little fun. It adds an extra challenge. Okay, so it is December, which means next month we're going to be releasing our antivirus software and our operating system. Uh, for the operating system, we're going to start printing. Uh, I forgot what the... What, what the number is that's like a good amount to print. Um, I think I'm going to stick with a maximum of like uh, 25,000. And we're going to see how that goes. I think that should be fine. We're going to do one more press build before the release. Okay, so it is January. We actually lost money. Oh, that's from the printing, of course. Um, you guys could see, I think I only printed like 6,000 copies and I spent oh, one, over one and a half million, which is a lot, but it's fine. Uh, but it is time for release, so we're going to release that and then market it, uh, I would say for 50,000, seems to be good. 
think they also changed the UI. I, I did just update the game before I started playing it today, but I didn't see what they changed. Um, but I would imagine it looks like the UI was updated a little bit more. Uh, but this should release in this month. All right. My security guard wasn't... Um, I think that you could have them patrol like a certain area if you just assign them to rooms. Yeah, let's, let's see. Let's make a new room group. Uh, security. I want them to only patrol the server room, which is the only room that ever gets robbed. Uh, and then that's it. Yeah, so I'm going to sort by the type, which is security, and we're going to assign them all uh, security rooms. So yeah, they're just going to guard that. So I think he's just going to stand there all day, no matter who, like, yeah. I mean, if they take the computers, then it's fine. They're way cheaper than the servers. Uh, which is another thing, is this needs to be released this month, so... Oh, okay, good. It was released. <laughs> That's good. They released our antivirus software. Let's see how it's doing. It's only good quality, which isn't good. Well, I mean, it, it is good, but not outstanding, which is what it should be. Um, but anyways, we are going to drop the price of our old stuff, obviously. We're going to assign our OS team to design this office software while they're designing the next um, antivirus software. Um, that last one did not do good at all. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's see what they're saying. So basically, this operating system and the... Well, the operating system is like perfect, but the antivirus software is not very good. Yeah, I don't really like project management at all. But it, it's fine, I guess. It lowers the quality of everything, and I mean, obviously, you don't get as much control as you should, but it's fine. Yeah, this one's release is for May of 2020, which is pretty soon. So yeah, I think that the antivirus could definitely... Oh, okay. Okay, we definitely don't need to print this much uh, OSs anymore. Or consoles, I guess you could call them just consoles, right? Okay, so they're developing that so we could move this back to our antivirus team and we could probably develop a new uh, operating system yeah so we're just doing the same thing over and over just more advanced uh, we're gonna do it for 275 did we make a framework I feel like we should we're gonna make a framework it will take an extra year but uh, it's definitely worth it uh, we made I think it's better to see it on the chart. We haven't really made that much, as much as we should have from one of our products. Uh, we made like 30 million, I think, or 20, more around like 20, from the releases of our operating system and our antivirus software, which is not very good at all. Here with our OS, you guys can see what is actually using the OS. Uh, right now it's just games. I, I don't know if... Uh, Anything other than games could be used for a console OS. Um, I know you can't do antivirus for an operating system or or the consoles or any editors. Basically, the only thing that you could do with a console is just games, obviously. Um, and yeah, that is what people are using. Oh, and I forgot that our operating system is not meeting demand. Uh, so with 25,000, it's still not enough. So we're going to do 50 again. I think I lowered it because uh, it didn't sell out. <laughs> Since there's nothing else for my designers to do from the antivirus team, I think we're going to start researching. Uh, we're probably going to research 3D. Um, yeah, I feel like everything now uh, in, in this stage of the game is using 3D. So uh, that should be good uh i don't know if they're gonna finish it though 
they are going pretty fast for researchers. The only problem is we're going to have to hire a temporary law team, uh, which is fine. We could bump down the marketing on our operating system and the printing, which I already did. I think I knocked it down to like 30,000. We could probably knock it down. Actually, we're going to wait to see how much sells this month. Okay, so it sold 11,000 in one month. Uh, so I think maybe 20,000 in stock at once should be fine. This one is, we could probably, for these like stranglers right here, we could probably just leave like 100 in stock because uh, it gets very expensive. You can see if I wanted to order copies, it would cost me $260 per copy. Uh, I'm not even selling it for that much, almost. But yeah, we're also gonna change the prices on everything. Uh, I usually like to change the old, old stuff to like a dollar to keep it cheap and also less cluttered. Um, also, it makes more sense to lower the price of your previous releases um, with, you know, everything else. I think we're going to start developing this uh, Office software just so I could uh, get the 3D research with uh, both teams at once. It'd be a lot better. Our new releases are not making us a lot of money at all. You could see total profit for this was only 18 million. Uh, it seems like it's just getting less and less. Oh, I forgot about this um, antivirus software. Let's see how it the quality is and it is mediocre, of course. So our antivirus team is working on the office software instead of an antivirus software, but we are gonna start working on a new antivirus software. It's gonna be a part of this uh, franchise. So we're gonna make a sequel of this. I think that the reason why they were getting worse is because of the frameworks. You guys could see if I applied this then the expected interest would go down, uh, which isn't good at all. So it's more worth it to just not use a framework. You guys could see even if we don't, it's still speed boosted by the last project. We're gonna bring back the uh, original Virus Eater name. Or no, I'm going to call it Virus Eater Remastered. That should be good. We're just bringing back an OG product, and I think people would appreciate that. Yeah, project management is definitely not going to happen anymore. Oh, I also forgot to switch the computers. Since it is 2020, we have a new computer. Uh, I've never used this computer before. Let's see, what's the difference? More electricity, more durability, and better environment. I've never seen, I've never used it before. I've never made it this far into um, the game without like winning. So this will be the first time that I ever use this. Yeah, I've never used this computer before. That is interesting. It's just a floating box. Yeah, well, it does have more durability, which is good. It just uses more power, which is not a problem for us. Because we have free power through our solar panels. Let's see, 9.9, .9, that is perfect for me. We're gonna promote it and we're gonna start bug fixing and we're gonna do the press release and all this. Uh, announce the release date for six months from now, which will be April of 2021. And yes, you guys already know the marketing drill. We almost have another 100 million to put in our savings, which it, which it'll put us halfway to a billion in the savings. Uh, let's see what they're saying. Yeah, so uh, we're first, we're barely entering the office software market. So we're not gonna get as many followers and we're not gonna get many sales. But since it's so cheap, we should get a lot of fans. Uh, wow, our press release is already almost done. We're just gonna give it another day. Uh, we don't even need to. The text isn't as important. Okay, so it's actually selling pretty good, which is good. 
Uh, so we're just gonna keep more, like 50,000 in stock. Um, printing software is not as expensive as hardware, obviously, so it kind of feels like, you know, printing this much is easy. Like, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, yeah, we need a budget. I don't know why they were budgeting the marketing for this at $700,000. But anyways, we could probably up it to 100000 That should be fine. Uh, let's see. Basically, we don't. they don't know who we are, but it's cutting edge. I'm kind of excited to release this office software to see what people think. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting. I've never released a product for this cheap. Um, I think I, I think it is $20 that I set it at. Uh, that's extremely cheap. Uh, the licenses, they have been costing me money for the entire time that I've been developing it. So yeah, let, we're just going to hope. Oh yeah, uh, our support team is very behind right now. Yeah, they're going to be very upset with me, but, you know, they got to get their tickets out. Um, there was like 800 that they needed to do from this. You could probably stop supporting the other antivirus software. We also need a port. This one, definitely do not forget to port anything ever. Okay, so we have enough cushion to put another 100 million in our savings. Uh, I might hold off for a little bit on that, see what is going on with everything else. Oh, it is also time to release our uh, product. Uh, I'm very glad that I caught that because I would have most definitely forgot. We're gonna do a marketing for this. I forgot which team developed it, but I do think it was the antivirus team. Uh, but I'm gonna have the OST market it since they have nothing else to do. Okay, but anyways, we have released our antivirus software. Let's see what people think of it. Uh, I'm really surprised that they didn't mention anything to do with our price of $20. Oh yeah, but our market recognition definitely jumped up a lot because of the price. So we're, we're going to lose money on this product, but that's fine. We're also going to keep the marketing at like 25000 Uh So they finished porting something. I think it was the antivirus software. Uh, we are going to put another $100 million in our savings too. So we have $500 million in total in our savings, I think. Let's see how much we make now. So now we make al almost a million dollars a month from interest which is much better so we could definitely hire the next team but I'm gonna have to do that in the next episode and as for this one oh wait we're all, we're done researching I'm gonna do that in the next episode too um, in this episode we released I think like two antivirus softwares and an operating system and also an office software and we already we almost we finished a research project which is huge we're gonna make some good money off of that uh, we are starting to work on another antivirus software, another operating system, and we're going to start working on another office software because we're going to keep doing that, I think, since our market recognition is pretty high in that. Um, but yes, that is all for the next episode. Uh, if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. We have a lot to do in the next episode, and... Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.